All right, so we got F123 official reveal trailer. Let's go into the video. So this is the bow, man. Round the outside he goes, and there's a huge lock up. Why is he going to be in Vegas? Before the race begins, anything is possible. True. It's like the world holds its breath. Hey, man, this looks good already. Why are you hesitating? Champion. Everyone thought Aiden was going to be signed by one of the big three. Oh, something has gone very wrong here. Every season, you want to step up. There's always something to improve. Bro, that's in the game? Something's not right. Okay, box, box. I can't lie, nah. I can't lie. This looks really good, bro. Bring the tire. This has to be a red flag. That was devastating. What a great result. Whoa. I want to be the best I can be. Is that the game or is that real life? Wait a minute, bro. Losing easy points like this. Come on, you can do this. Not everyone survives in F1. You know that. Wheel to wheel. This is fabulous. The question is. Who will be the last to break? All right. Okay. First of all, EA. EA, you've outdone yourselves, bro. Because honestly, it was one of the cutscenes to the point where I was like, hold up. Is that real life or is this actually the game? That's a pretty good thing. For all of the uh, developers out there, if you have a like a cutscene or like, or just like a part of the gameplay to where like, you know, if people are questioning if that's like real life, or like like if you took a clip from like in like a like in reality or in real life and just put it in your game, if you have people questioning that, that's a pretty good thing, because it shows that that the, like that the graphics are really 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 good, because there was literally one scene where uh, the guy was sitting down and it had like the the cameras and all the production crew around him, and I thought that was uh I thought that was real life at first, and then I was like no that's actually in the game. That is absolutely crazy. You got done yourselves with that one. I will give you that one. Um, now, when it came down to like story mode about like F1 and stuff like that, um, I'm gonna be real. I never really paid attention to like the story mode in F1. I've, I was always just interested in um, just uh, playing F1 with the actual steering wheel. I I can listen. Call me what you want, or call me fancy or whatever. But for F1, I have to play with the steering wheel, bro. It, it, you kind of have to. It, it's like okay. It's kind of like, I don't know. It's kind of like having like a, like a Wii, right? It's kind of like you have like a Nintendo Wii, but not having Wii Sports. Like everybody, you have to have Wii Sports, bro. It's like, it's like, it's a part of it, you know? So at the end of the day, like I kind of like have to have like the wheel to like play F1. Um, but yeah, it looks really, really, really good. Uh, the story mode looks pretty, mm, it looks all right. I mean, at the end of the day, they show like a few, you know, cut scenes where, you know, um, I'm guessing you see like the, what well you see like the backstory uh of a new f1 driver or you know what what an f1 driver go through and stuff like that or like the career mode i guess i'm guessing but other than that comment down below what do you guys think of it i think it's going to be pretty cool it comes out in july 16th so it's going to come out next month and um and so yeah we'll see how it does uh we'll see how it looks like but uh yeah other than that it, it looks pretty good in the cutscene. oh sorry in the, in the trailer so um i don't know we'll see though uh ea you've outdone, you've outdone yourself graphically um, hopefully, you know, you keep the same graphics when it comes to, uh, when it, when it actually, you know, touches the consoles and stuff like that. But uh, other than that, comment down below what's going to think about this. I'll see you guys later for the next one. I'm out and 